Hi guys, today we're going to dive in and make one of the kids' favourites. I'm not sure of many kids who don't like an easy Mac. So we are first going to pop a bowl up on top of the thermo mix. Um, and we're going to weigh in there 100 grams of frozen peas. Um, I do know that a lot of my kids don't like peas, so I tend to leave this out sometimes. But today everyone likes peas, so we're just going to march on. Popping those aside now and those will get tipped in at the end. Lifting up the lid and it's calling for one garlic clove. So I'm just going to pop that in, just peeled, not crushed or anything. And now I'm going to pop in there 140 grams of parmesan cheese, just cut, chopped into cubes. And next is 140 grams of cheddar cheese. And I'm also going to mix this up with a little bit of tasty cheese because I did have some left over from a barbecue that we had at the weekend. So you can use whatever cheese you like. If you're lactose intolerant, you can um, switch this out for a vegan cheese. I do know that some lactose intolerant um, people can tolerate hard cheeses. So you could perhaps just stick to the really hard cheeses like cheddar and convert this dish into a lactose free alternative. So that's going to take 10 seconds to grate all of that beautiful cheese up for our mac and cheese. And I'll just pop off the lid and show you what that looks like. There it is. So 10 seconds for that great big jug full. I'm just going to pop that aside and clean and dry the bowl quickly. You do want a clean bowl for this one because the next step is going to be uh, cooking some milk and things like that. So you don't want the cheese to be stuck on the bottom because it might burn. Next we're going in with 120 grams of carrots, just some rough chunks. And again you could leave those out if your kids don't like carrots. And popping on the lid again and that's going to grate all our carrots up. It does end up being quite emulsified within the sauce and um, pretty hard to spot for the kids. So might be a good way to get some veggies into them. So back again and I'll just show you what that carrot looks like. It's all grated up. Ready to go through our sauce. So I'm just going to pop that aside. And now here's a little video. The recipe is calling for a blade cover. So... Some recipes ask for a blade cover. I've made this recipe without one and um, it's designed to stop things getting cut up or mushed up like pasta, sous vide, things like that. But this recipe seems okay um, without the blade cover if you can't get one because I do know they're tricky to get. Next we're going in with 40 grams of unsalted butter. Uh, that's a homemade butter uh, but you could use store bought if um, if that's all you have. Any form of butter that you like. Nuttalex is a great alternative for anyone with intolerances. Next. 650 grams of milk. Now here's where I've tested this recipe out to be a bit more um, lactose friendly. Uh, I've used this recipe and um, changed the milk out for cashew milk and I've also tried rice milk and both are really lovely still. And for a lactose free alternative, I would just leave out the cream and it comes out a little bit runnier than um, what it does with the cream in there, but it's certainly still very tasty and nice. Just a little bit of salt. Pop that cheese away next and just going in with a little bit of pepper. Great just to add all the one things into one pot. Two pinches of nutmeg and I'm going to skip past that because we don't actually like the nutmeg. Just a little bit of paprika. Some Dijon mustard. I've also tried this recipe with whole grain when I run out of Dijon and still quite nice. And some Worcestershire sauce. Three or four dashes of that. And I'm just bringing in the reserved carrot that we grated earlier and popping that back in.
Next is uh, 250 grams of pasta, uh, macaroni pasta. I've also used shell pasta in this one and that also turned out well. So you could use any pasta you like, any small pasta you like. And mixing that around with a spatula just to make sure everything's sort of incorporated and, and ready to go. Popping on the lid and the measuring cup. And that's going to take 22 minutes to cook. Coming back again and the mac and cheese is ready. It's asking me to transfer it to a bowl. So I'm just going to go and get our thermo server. These are fantastic for keeping things hot or cold. I'm keeping mine nice and warm today so that it's ready for the kids after school. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the jug and I'll show you what the mac and cheese looks like. Just lifting off the lid there and there it is. It's beautiful mac and cheese. So I'm just going to pop that into my thermo server and that's going to stay warm for at least two hours. I did warm it up with some hot water to hold it longer um, but it will hold it hot for at least two hours in this big pot. Next. It's just asking me to add in there the peas and the cheese so just in with those frozen peas we had earlier and all that beautiful grated cheese and stirring that around and that's it dinner is done you could have that as a side dish or just as it is it's a big hit in our family they all love it so I hope you enjoy that I'm just gonna pop on the lid to keep it warm and it's done I am a demonstrator for thermo mix if you'd like a demonstration let me know um, and if you're not interested in a demonstration feel free to purchase a thermo mix if you'd like one from the link in my description bar regardless of um, your purchase preferences we will always offer you ongoing support as needed on your thermo mix journey Feel free to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Always posting updates on Thermomix specials. Hit like on this video if you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more Thermomix videos coming along. Uploading around four times a week at the moment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Just to make sure you're getting notified. And thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.